everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today I would be talking quite a few things uh, I would be sharing quite a few things to you today as you can see here I have some or a lot of things on my side that I would like to share with you so we'll be talking uh, finished objects but actually they're finished projects or projects that have been finished for quite some time already but I haven't written the pattern yet, so I don't consider them as if they're really finished. And then I will be sharing with you also some whips. These are not my active whips, but these whips, like they've been almost forgotten. And I will be sharing with you also one of my hacks or tips on how I organize my whips, as well as the free printable that you can download maybe for a week and we'll have it free for a week and I will tell you everything about it in a minute. So by the way, I'm Cheryl of The Elegant Urban. So this is my crochet podcast. This is my episode three and I am d.elegant.urban on Instagram and I also have um, a Pinterest account and I sell patterns to the Ravelry, a love crafts and creative fabric. Okay, let's start first with my finished projects or finished objects. They're not uh, like they're not on a arrange on a time that I have finished them. Some of which I have forgotten already, but I will try to remember them. So, okay, this one I will have. This is the first one. Okay. So this is a scarf, this is a scarf with a beanie pair. <clears throat> so this is actually, or I made this actually as a project for my Primalu stitch pattern series. I wasn't able to launch that uh, stitch pattern series because I started this when I was still in the province and I, I I had a problem with the internet signal there, so I wasn't able to share this. But basically, this is from my Prima Lustich Prima pattern series. I will be having a separate episode with the Prima Lustich pattern series because this this features quite interesting stitches. Although they're they are like they're just basic stitches, but it features some interesting. Um, technique should I say or um, interesting stitch pattern uh, but basically this is made with alternating group of rows of double crochet and um, single crochet so the stitch the, or the stitches used on the scarf is just the, the same here with the baby so this is made with an acrylic yarn I forgot the details of this yarn, but this is acrylic, 100% acrylic, and with some, it's flick, I think, and, and I really forgot the <clears throat> particulars of, or the specifics of this uh, yarn, and um, I made this uh, last 2019, I guess, or if not 20. The, yeah, I think tw 2019 when I was still in the province. Um, after the Primula skirt or the Primula Maxi skirt, so this is what I made. I think I was able to control the one or two. I really forgot because it's been a long time already, but I think I, I was able to use maybe 200 grams for this. I hope, hopefully I would be able to write the pattern for this and I, and I would be able to share this with you. So yes, so this is a scarf, it's supposed to go like this, and a beanie. I will not just try to fit it on my head because my hair will get, will get messy. So this is the Primalu scarf scarf and beanie. Okay, so this is the beanie and this is 
this scarf. Okay, so this is the first one. And along with this one, I also made, okay, let's have this, this. So this is also a scarf, a asymmetrical scarf. I made this also last 2019, and then when I get back into the city, I left this at home. And even though I finished this already, some of the <coughs> yarns for the pom-poms on the edge have is already damaged or already damaged here so I have to repair this but still this is from my Prima Lo stitch pattern series because this features it still features uh, basic stitches and then alternating group of rows uh, of double crochet and single crochet so this is an asymmetrical scarf uh, this is supposed to be oh, like it's worn like this forgot I'm sorry I'm sorry but I already forgotten how to do this I think it's like this it's supposed to form a triangle on the front with the pom poms on the side it's more like this so this is made of a monocro acrylic, 100% acrylic, and I made this last 2019. Um, I forgot the specifics of the yarn, but still. By the way, this yarn that I used, this gray one, is a recycled one. This is from the cape that my my daughter had, and I frog it off because it's already small for her, and I love I love the yarn. So I frog it off and then made it into a ball and decided to create into it to create it into another project. So this is what I did. So the the main color, which is or the the gray one, is not monocro acrylic. It's only the blue and the red that are monocro. But this one I forgot the brand of this yarn. But this yarn was from abroad when we were still abroad because that was that cape I will show you I, I will share a picture uh, with that cape here uh, it was not crocheted by me but crocheted by a friend or a church mate for my daughter and we were still abroad at that time and she made it for my daughter so this is not a local yarn but these are still acrylic so this is I uh, I call this a the Primalu uh, Prima Asymmetrical Scarf. This one is the Primalu Scarf and the Primalu uh, Beanie, sorry. <coughs> because still from the Primalu Stitch Pattern series. So it has, uh, it's only the, sorry, the other, or only one edge of this, uh, asymmetrical uh, scarf is with the pom-poms so it's with this uh, single crochet and on, on the side it has some pom-poms and then that's why or the color of this is not it's quite interesting because I ran out of the blue yarn and I have a lot of spare uh, red yarn from the poncho that I shared, shared on uh, from the episode 2 that my mother made a poncho for me so we had a lot of spare from that yarn so <clears throat> I inserted another color here instead of finishing it with one uh, color accent so I made a red and a, a blue and a red um, inserts here <clears throat> so this is asymmetrical I hope I would be able to share also the pattern with you soon and would be able to write it. So the pattern starts here and then it, it gradually increases and then it will became um, a larger triangle. So this is my Primo Loop asymmetrical scarf. The line is this uh, rectangular scarf. I love this. Um, 
So this is made with 100% um, cotton, local yarn. This, uh, the main, uh, or the, yeah, the main part of this. So because we have this main or the body and then the edging, so it, it's, uh, the body is made first, and then the edging. <coughs> It has some interesting patterns also, but um, most of these stitches are just the basic stitches. By the way, I'm recording this very early in the morning, and now you can see uh, uh, light on my back because it's it's getting uh, day day already. It's daytime already. So <clears throat> it has uh, it. You just uses some basic stitches with some accents here and then a special um, stitch which is the bubble stitch I think this is bubble stitch yes <coughs> and then um, I would I would uh, remember you know the stitches there are the stitch pat pattern here I would remember the I forgot the you know when when you're when you're pregnant and then they're going to attach some equipments on your tummy and then there's going to be like they're going to monitor the movements of the baby inside of your, your tummy and then there's some recording that <coughs> you know it will spike spike up when the baby is move, moving and if not it's just you know going steady and then if there's a movement it will spike up so I would just I, I can remember that <clears throat> with this dish pattern. Like I wanted to name this a as a heartbeat uh, away shawl, but I named this my Saba shawl. So this is my Saba. Um, actually, this is supposed to be, or this is included uh, in a collection that I was supposed to launch maybe 2019 oh no 2020 this is with the uh sophia lazy poncho and my uh, malaya shrug this is supposed to be uh, a group or a collection of patterns that i was supposed to launch in 2020 but a lot of things happen i get busy so i wasn't able to launch the collection as a whole but some of which I was able to release already. I wasn't able to release this because I haven't written the pattern yet. I am very sorry. Don't judge me because, yeah, I, but I've learned that mistakes because uh, what I did before when I just been designing, I don't, I tend not to write all the specifics or I don't write what I'm doing at the moment. Like I'm not putting it down in the notebook. That's why I would be telling you a lot that I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Because basically that's what I did. I already forgot. So I did not write the specifics here. But, you know, looking at this project, I can still remember what I did. But, like, the tiny details, I don't remember anymore. So this is my Sava wrap. I call this my Sava wrap, by the way, not a uh, shawl. I usually call my... Um, shawl that are shaped like a rectangle as wrap and those that are shaped as a uh, triangle as a shawl but actually they're just the same that they're, they're the same in function but i just wanted to name them name them as such just to make some distinguishments or just uh, just to be distinguished from one another so i name it that way but you know, in function, they're just the same. They're just the same shawls. They're just the same uh, wraps. They're wraps, okay? So this is my Sava wrap. <clears throat> so this is with a teal uh, colored uh, yarn. This is 100% cotton. And then with some beige yarns. So I also have another uh, interesting color here inserted because I ran out of the teal yarn. I tried to post on the because I, I was able to buy this uh, yarns online, I tried to post, like I was looking for this particular yarn, for this particular color, but um, no one, or it's not, it's no longer available. Sorry for the noise of the dog, it's from my neighbors. So I, I and, and then I realized that I have 
uh, another or this yarn of another color but of the same weight shall I say and so I in, I use it because I, it took it has been a while that I wasn't able to finish this because of the yarn and availability so it turns out great even if you know I did that I wasn't able to finish the whole project with just the beige and the tail color and I love it and this is very comfortable to wear like you can just wrap this around if you're staying outside it's not itchy because this is cotton but it gives you that uh, warmth that you need if you're going to use this and again hopefully I would be able to write the pattern and I would be able to share this soon so this is my Sava wrap so next is this one this is another shawl I'm a shawl girl uh, I'm a shawl lady so this I love the color of this <clears throat> This is a local yarn, and a fingering weight yarn, a ply, uh, fine cotton. I bought this yarn from Ashley's Crochet. Yeah, Ashley's Crochet. I bought this, <clears throat> and, I, and I think this is the seashore uh, color region. And um, I had a great time uh, designing this one. Like, I really wanted for this particular pattern here. This one here, this one, or the, the lacy one, and then with some, yeah, this one. I really wanted, I, I, I fell in love with this uh, particular pattern and I wanted to create it, like I wanted to turn it into a shawl. And I had a great, or I had a, you know, uh, struggle, like a love, a hate, uh, like a love, hate, love affair. But I was very happy that I was able to turn it into a shawl. So most of the stitches are special stitches. It has some cluster stitches and then some um, post stitches, I think. Yeah, the problem with me again, I mean, I didn't write the pattern for this yet. Or I, did, I wasn't able to write, you know, the pattern while I made this. But <clears throat> I would be able to recreate this. If I have to write the pattern, or oh, when I write the pattern, and this one is, I already have a name for this. Let me see. This is my Mayona. So this is my Mayona shawl. Um, I love the edging here. <clears throat> it, it it features a lot, or it features a, a an interesting uh, edging here. Uh, pattern for the edging. I love this yarn, and I really enjoyed creating uh, this uh, pattern this project i was still in the province and i think i made this on the yeah, 2020 i was still in the province and on the height of the, the pandemic or the lockdown so i i, I finished this one <clears throat> so basically this is just an alternating patterns of this one and this one and this one and with some dividers here there's the dividers and then back again it, like each segment or shall I call this a segment uh, it features like with this one and then with an insert of this pattern and then another one of these and then with the divider the divider has a popcorn stitch or has popcorn stitch and another interesting detail because uh, the stitch here is a little bit erased or embossed so yeah so this is my Mayona shawl hopefully I would be able to share this also soon another project that I able to I was able to finish also during the height of the pandemic lockdown is my colleague Siva I have showed you this project on my episode too so I won't be talking about the details of this uh, of this uh, project so, but yes, I. this is one of my projects that is finished, but I haven't written the pattern yet. <clears throat> and this is also, and this is supposed to be included also on the collection, was supposed to be included in the collection that I was supposed to launch together with my Mayona, my Saba, my Sophia, and my Malaya Shrug. And yes, I'm still 
doing the pattern I'm not yet done I was quite busy for the past week so I wasn't able to make uh, I, I wasn't I didn't have any progress with my whips regarding the you know writing the pattern again and you know cre creating another prototype of this so this is my Kalia Siva shawl <clears throat> so after that Kalia Siva I have this another shawl this is my Pinina so this is my Pinina sorry I finished this last year when we get back into the city but I started that, this whole project or the whole design when I was still in the province and um, like I, I I also have another uh, I also have a whip of this that I didn't um, yeah I, I, I made as a supposed to be my prototype but I did not finish I will share it to you later so this is my Pinina. <clears throat> I love this. I was really happy also when I created this. It has a very lazy detail. So this is my Pinina. And I was able to create another project out of this pattern, out of this particular pattern, that I was able to sell uh, because a friend of mine asked me if I, if I could make her a shawl that she's going to give to someone. So I made uh, that shot out of this uh, particular pattern. I was very happy that my friend was very kind to wait for m for me because I, like I was able to finish that particular pattern for a year because I was really busy with my work, with my main hustle, and busy with a lot of things. Like I wasn't. I I I I, I had it. Uh, pushed on the side for a very long time and then she reminded me that she's still interested for the project for the shawl so I have to finish it so I, I was able to make another project out of this pattern already so this is another a local yarn 8 ply I love 8 ply fine cotton so um, it's more of a Halloween color but I love the color of this I had this uh, particular colorway customized to a local on online seller she was very happy to make the color for me and yes so this is my pinina it's a rectangular shawl again it has some dividers it has some stitch special stitches especially on the dividers some uh, front post uh, double crochet and then this bead stitches and then this so this is my pinina shawl and i just made some simple pattern on the edge i was made uh, i just made some you know tassels on the edge but the one that i made that i sold to to my friend i made uh another pattern out of uh, an another i made another pattern for the edge okay so this is my pinina shawl this is going to be the last one for the finished object. Oh no, I still have this one. Okay, another uh, finished project, but I haven't written the pattern yet, is this. It's another sh shawl. It's a, uh, it's a triangular shawl. This is made with an interfill yarn this time. Four ply interfill yarn. It's a local yarn here in my place. And it features a lot of special stitches. This is heavily textured uh, piece. Like I, I really, I was really trying to create a textured, a heavily textured piece, and I'm very happy that I was able to create it, uh, create a shawl uh, that is heavily textured. So it has some basket weave stitches and some bubble stitches also, and. Um, some raised or some post stitches, front post stitches here. I made this last year, or I was able to finish this last year, and I'm very happy with the result. But, but it consumes a lot of yarn. Like I almost consumed 400 grams of yarn for this. So this, uh, the color of this is camel hay, camel hay or camel hay. So I was able to consume 400 grams, almost 400 grams of this uh, particular yarn because this is heavily textured and it has also some interesting patterns on pattern on the edge. 
so I love this I love I super love this uh, pattern I like that like I was really really happy that I was able to create this because it had this particular design has been on my mind for quite some time already so so yeah this is a triangular shawl and still alternating patterns of the basket weave and then some pattern inserts of the of these of the bubble stitch and then another of the basket weave i don't have a name for this yet and again i wasn't able to write the pattern yet but hopefully i would be able to share with you with you soon i would be able to write the pattern soon it's just that i'm quite busy this time now the last one for the finished object is this beanie i made this last year um this was supposed to be a gift but i wasn't able to give this to a friend this is supposed to be a gift to a friend but i wasn't able to give this to her mm -hmm. so this is made with monaco acrylic yarn and i love the color it's a neon colored pink and <clears throat> the yarn is a gift to me by a crochet friend during our christmas party last i think that was um 2018 by a crochet friend uh, it's a gift by a crochet friend um so the yarn is a from a crochet friend it's a gift during a christmas party here in Davao city it's a neo colored pink and yeah this is the yarn it's in cone and i still have you know this left over, over yarn here <coughs> that i would be able to to make another one baby make maybe so it has um, quite a few spe special stitches also it has some bubble stitches also and some raised uh, or front bow stitches here i love this so this is supposed to be a gift but i wasn't able to give this to a friend so i still have to write the pattern yeah uh, still i still have to write the pattern for this and yes I love the pom pom here. I used a pom pom maker that I was also able to bought last a long time ago. Yeah, I have a pom pom maker, the, the the large one I made with this pom pom. So this is uh, a beanie. I have no names for this yet, and hopefully I will be able to write uh, the pattern soon also. So this is the beanie. So that's it for the um, finished objects. So we're going now to up uh, to my whips, my forgotten whips. So those are just the finished objects that I was able to make like 2019, two years ago or last year. But I do have a lot or quite a few finished objects still uh, I have that I won't be sharing with you today because um, they're part of a <clears throat> a collection that I'm supposed to, to launch again soon hopefully soon that I will be able to launch it so I won't be sharing them with you yet so for now we're going to go ahead with my whips my forgotten whips so they're not arranged on the time when they became uh, whips or when I have them started these are just random uh, whips that I have. Okay, <clears throat> so first is this Kalia um, This is supposed to be my Kalia Siva prototype. After the acrylic, this is supposed to be my Kalia Siva prototype, wherein I was already writing the pattern. But like what I've mentioned before during the episode two, when I mentioned about the details of my Kalia Siva, I did a lot of tricking. So yeah, I wasn't able to finish it. I did a lot of frogging, revisions, and yes, it's still a whip. And so I made another, uh, I created another one with a new yarn because like I wanted to recreate the whole project. Like I would want to recreate the project and I would also be writing the pattern you know, hand in hand so that I would be able to write down every detail of the pattern because a lot i made a lot of tweaking even on this part uh, still on this part I and mean, i was still on this part so <clears throat> if 
I'm going to frog this off. Yes, I might because I made another one with another uh, yarn or um, with another yarn cake. Um, <clears throat> so I might frog this off. So this is uh, my fr uh, so this is my Kalia Zero Whip. And I have here a paper with my whip and I will share this with you later. So I'll just put this one aside for now, but I will be sharing with you what is this paper. This is one of the tips that I would like to share with you. Next is this. <clears throat> so this is my, um, I forgot. This is my Janara shawl. I used this when I filmed the tutorial for my Janara shawl. Uh, for my Janara shawl. This is an acrylic yarn. Um, Three ply in Jafil yarn, 100% acrylic. So I use this when I film my tutorial for my Janara shawl. And I might frog this uh, off because I just used this for the tutorial. And I might, I might frog this so that I can use the yarn for another project. And besides, uh, I have released this uh, pattern already. I released Janara shawl last maybe 2019 I think so I'm not just sure but I think it's 2019 and I made uh, I think I made two or one of gen of the Genara shawl already of the Genara pattern already <coughs> so I don't have to recreate the Genara shawl for me to make the pattern so I might frog this off and then next is um, Let's have this one. So this is from Ashley's Crochet. This is 100% cotton, 8 ply fine cotton, fingering weight cotton. So this is supposed to be a shrug with this particular pattern. But <clears throat> this is supposed to be an order, but I, was, I became busy that I wasn't able to finish this. But actually, it was my crochet student that started all of this, or started this one. I asked her if she can, she would like to create this one. I, I, I commissioned her to do this one because this is an order <clears throat> by a dear friend. But since she's very new, but she knows how to crochet already. She was able to finish a shawl already. A shrug, I mean. I mean a shrug, it's not a shawl. That's their project for completion during you know, like when I had a workshop with them. <coughs> so I asked her if she could make this one. So she's the one who started this but you know her tension is quite um, inconsistent and somehow I don't like it. So I I recreate or I I, I frog some parts of this and because I was quite busy I wasn't able to finish this project. Good thing the one who ordered this didn't uh, ask me about this I don't know if I might frog this this one but I like the pattern of it so I might not frog this one I might continue this in the future but not now because I'm still busy with another th with other things so yes this is supposed to be a shrug so I forgot the pattern of this but it's available I think it has a pattern available online and there's also a YouTube tutorial so this is supposed to be a shrug, but I would link everything that, you know, the specifics or everything that I've mentioned here, uh, especially the yarns if you're interested. I will put all the links down below in the description box and also the patterns if you, if you would like. So this is supposed to be a shrug, but I, I wasn't able to finish it. But I might not frog it because I would like to continue this one. I love the pattern of this one. Now next is this one <clears throat> this is another project for my Primala Stitch Pattern series supposed to be this is going to be a pullover but I wasn't able to finish it yet like I'm already on the arm armhole uh, part so I used two cakes at the same time so this particular stitch features uh, some interesting uh, technique 
So yeah, this is uh, still Prima Lu because it has an alternating rows of single crochet and double crochet. The color of this is Peacock. Yeah, so this is four ply in Dufil yarn, 100% acrylic. This is a local yarn in my place. So, and I will not frog this because I would like to continue this one in the near future. So yeah, this is another one of my whip. And next is this one. This is my Prima de Square. This is a, it features, still features the same uh, stitch pattern, but I made it in a square and it has an interesting uh, stitch pattern because it has some ridges here. So this is my, I have here a finished one. I was supposed to turn this into, or turn this square into a poncho, but I ran out of yarn and then I asked the seller for this particular yarn that uh, the colors were no longer available. So yeah, I have it on, like I showed this on the side, but I started this project last 2020 and yeah. So this is my Prima Lu Square, alternating double crochet and single crochet. So I made two of this, but that's it because I no longer have the yarn. I would like to recreate this because I love the stitch pattern and then the pattern of the color that is, that is being made. But I just don't have the time to recreate this. So this is my Prima Lu Square. And the next is this one. This is actually my Pinina, one of the supposed prototype, the one that I've, that I've mentioned earlier. So this is with some alternating colors, solid colors, blue, light blue, and this yellow, which is cheese, I think, that's the, the color of that is cheese. This is eight ply, 100% cotton, fingering weight cotton, and local yarns. And this is, yeah, solid, alternating solid colors. And I might um, continue this one. I don't like to frog this, so I might continue this one because I love the color combination of this. This is very summer. So yes, this is the Pinina Whip. It's supposed to be the prototype for my Pinina Whip. Uh, for my Pinina Shawl, sorry. And then another one is this one. Actually, I the, I, I just have this like an experiment for a stitch. And uh, but I was supposed to create a top for this out of this uh, stitch pattern. And um, but I didn't have the time. I don't I don't like to frog this off because I might. Uh, forgot the stitch pattern that I created so yeah I would still have the time I would recreate this and yeah would create the design and the project that I have in mind with this okay so this pink this is 100% cotton um, yeah fingering weight cotton next is this I might fry this off because I'm finished with this So I might frog this off because this is supposed to be the prototype of my um, Makaya Halter Bullet. Uh, I have uh, released the pattern already, so I I had this when I was still designing, so I might frog this off with uh, this particular whip. I might frog this. And the next is this. I love this. This is supposed to be a cardigan, but I wasn't able to continue it so it's it's a long forgotten whip of mine it features uh, a pineapple pattern here and I won't I will not frog this off because I will, I'm planning to create this into a skirt instead of a of the cardigan so sorry if I'm, I tend to look on that side and rather than facing here so this is the this is another whip I love I super love the yarn 
for this because uh, I think this is um, cotton acrylic blend uh, a local yarn also fingering weight yarn and yeah it's fingering so I will not frog this and I will try to continue this if I have the time soon soonest so this is um, I will turn this into a skirt and while like while I was still on the process of designing like what you know looking for stitch pattern that I could use for us to be used as a cardigan I also created this this one so it's like more it's more of a swatch but I love the stitch pattern here but <clears throat> And I love the stitch pattern here, but I might uh, frog this off so that I can use the yarn for this. But I do have a lot of yarn for uh, this particular yarn because I love the color and I love this uh, particular yarn. So yeah, but I might frog this off. I am not sure. Okay. So next is this. I have this uh, squares, but I was able to finished the skirt already using another yarn because I realized that this is Canon uh, 3 ply mercerized thread. I realized that it will took me a lot of yarn to finish this skirt because this, you know, this is a thread. They're very tiny. So I, I, I recreated uh, an, of this particular pattern, I recreated but using another yarn and I'm finished already. I, I'm not just going to show it to you yet. <clears throat> so I might I'm not sure if I might frog this off but I, I would like to I would like to continue this one to make this as a finished project using still using this particular one because I wanted to experiment like I wanted to create a lot of projects using the thread because this is what's very available here in my place so this is a uh, canon thread I love the color and yeah i might uh continue this one so i i i am not sure if i'm going to frog this so i have a finished project uh with this pattern already and the next is this this is elise diva uh, a premium acrylic yarn and i have this one it's supposed to be a top but i didn't finish it yet I don't know. I might frog this off because I, I have another uh, plan for this uh, yarn already, but I'm not yet sure. So it has some stitches, uh, texture stitches here, um, but I'm not yet sure if I will frog this. So this is Elise Diva. Yes, and the color is 131. Almost the same with this, but not quite the same. This is dark green. So this one. And then uh, another one is this. It's supposed to be a top, a pair, a pair for the short that I was able to finish already. My Primalu, uh, Primalu shorts. But I ran out of yarn of this particular color, the mixed colored yarn, so I used the red. Because I think it just complements the color here. But yeah, I wasn't able to finish it yet. I'm on the part of making the straps, the shoulder straps. And then that's it. And But I didn't finish it yet. But I will have to finish it soon. I will not frog this because this is almost finished. So that the shorts will have a pair. Okay, Still with a Primalo stitch pattern. Alternating group of rows of the DC and the SC, or the double crochet and the single crochet. So this is. So I still have the, the, the yarn here. And this is 8 ply fine cotton, fingering weight cotton, a local yarn. And then lastly is this one, or the last one is this. So by the way, this is the yarn. This is the yarn that um, I used here. Yes, this is the, the yarn. Okay, <clears throat> leftover. I was trying to create a beanie again with this, 
but what I finished is just the brim here. I will not frog wisps because I will going to make a beanie. I'm going to finish this beanie. I'm, I'm done with the brim already, so I will not finish. I will not frog this off. So this is 100% uh, <clears throat> acrylic. And I love this because it's ha it has a little bit of a sheen with this particular yarn. So this is the yarn that was used that was a cape before for my daughter. So that's it for the for forgotten whips. Some of which I might frog and some of which I might not frog. And I do have um, active whips on the side that I might I, that I will not show you this time yet. And I'm going to talk about the paper that I have here on my whip. Okay, so this is my whip tracker. This is a whip tracker wherein you would be writing all the specifics of your project so that you won't be able to forget. Like you're going to write down all the specifics of your uh, whip. <clears throat> I had uh, shared this one on my previous video. I will put the link down below with the video that I was talking with this particular whip tracker. So I use this when I when trying to organize my whip so that I won't be able to forget uh, <clears throat> the specifics of the whip, especially the yarn, the hook, and like the row or the part where you're you're at with your whip because that is very important so that when you're trying to continue your whip, you will not forget where you're at. So I'm, this is a free download. <clears throat> a free printable so you can download this one like what I've said I had this on my previous video the details of this is on my previous video so this is what I do with my whip but I have a new pattern or I have a new printable of my whip tracker so this one it's a little bit bigger with this because with this, on a piece of paper A4, you can print six out of this, but this time you can only print two, and it's colored this time, and it's a little bit fancy. But here I just put the name of yeah, the, the my brand, or my, my name here, but you can download this particular web tracker for free, without this name of course. So there's the web tracker and then the project details, name of the project. Um, because <clears throat> you can name your project not as the same with the name of the pattern that you're going to use or that, or that, you, that you're using. And then the pattern name, then the date, this is that you started the project, and then your target date that you're supposed to finish your project. And then the details, the yarn details, the fiber, what is the type of yarn that you're using for that particular web the category of the yarn and then the color of the yarn also and then you can also put the lot also because that's quite important also if you wanted a, a very consistent color of your project like you're you're doing a, a, a huge project that would be needing a lot of yarn and then the hook details the size of the hook and the brand and then some notes like <clears throat> this the the status of your whip where you're at or any anything that you would like to write on your whip regarding your whip and then you can also use the back portion for your notes so i will have this as a free download uh, a free download for a week i will put the link on where you can get them and then i will be selling this uh, printable for a very friendly price after i have it uh, free for a week so yes, you can write all the details of your whip, and then you can slide it inside a yeah. You can inside it. You can slide it inside a plastic together with your whip, so that every time that you're going to go back to your whip, you won't miss any of the detail. So yes. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my crochet podcast. Um, don't forget to click to like, to share, and subscribe this video. And I hope you had a great time. Keep safe, everyone.